My name is Gaurav and you know that we are discussing that uh, various tips given by the testers and today's topic is automation. Some must things must have things that you should think from the starting uh, when you are doing automation in a project. In the last video, we discussed that uh, what are some basic things which should be considered like uh, so here are some of the technical things. Uh, some basic things that you should consider and in the last one we discussed whether you should do automation in what cases you should do and what all areas it can be applied to but here we'll discuss those topics if you take care from the starting you will not face problems in the later stages right uh, and most of them would be for the beginners but you'll find some tips if, even if you are at advanced level let's see that what uh, testers have given tips based on their experience <music> So the first step is like you sh should be unattended execution. For example, when you are starting doing learning for a tool and you're doing the POC, you learn it from the IDE, right? So you should think of after writing one to 10 test cases that how I can execute it so that when I'm not present, still the execution can go on, right? You can create, create a branch for each test case so that the person who is doing the review, it is easy for them. Many companies follow these standards and it has helped them, so it can help you as well, right? And uh, related to this point that your automation suit should be a part of deployment trigger, right? So if any releases coming in your environment, then uh, the suit can run automatically, right? And use relative paths, right? When we are starting, we use paths like uh, core Chrome driver. So when you think about these things, it will help you in long run right so sometimes only the beginners have uh, problems like this right so i might have i have also faced such uh, problems right so if you think of these things uh, then you can solve many problems that can come in the future right place all files in the project folder sometimes like so the same example chrome driver we download it in downloads folder and we give it and later on it creates problem or if you are giving the project to someone else it might not run in their system if we have not taken care and it comes in the starting like once uh, it goes in repository people take care of these things right if you take it from the starting it will help you and this is some underrated thing that sometimes people don't do it manually but if you do it manually you may find an alternative way or a better way to automate it so it's important to understand the application you are doing the automation so that it it there is not a gap between okay i'm an automation engineer and that person is tester i only know coding and he only know these things so if you collaborate and uh, you will find that you are making the automation even better and testing is uh, becoming better if you know about the mix and match right and whenever you are doing the automation these are always the first priority because these are the things which are you are doing almost on the daily basis right so if you automate this first it's good and assertion is a must right so sometimes we think that automation is suppose i'm just opening gmail via selenium so it opens right but what is the validation part whether my inbox is appearing over there or not so if you don't put assertions valid assertions and then it's just a joke right it, it will never find a bug if there is no assertion it will do the things that you have told but whether if you have not put the validation points right it is it does not make any sense apply the oops concept wherever applicable like it's not a forceful that you have to apply but wherever it makes sense right and do in sprint automation like it's not a separate project like okay firstly for many months we'll do just the testing part and then we'll start the automation uh, that should not be your automation strategy right and don't rely on a single tool just because i know it so let me use that one only right one tool cannot solve all the problems and you have a specific problem so use specific tool for solving that specific problem and uh, do have code reviews right on your code otherwise you will keep on doing the same thing there are so many design patterns and things which people can guide you get your code reviewed even uh, you have you can have some repository and there are people who are willing to do code reviews just like amuthan is there so he keep on asking people to share their code so that he can give review and comments on that not your company code but you can use the one which is on the public forum just like github you can take help from devs as well. They keep on writing so much code, so they can also help you the best things that they are using. 
right so and choose wise tools wisely so these are some of the things which you can check in the tool whether it is open source or licensed when maybe some of the uh, functionalities are free but for rest you have to pay there are tools like that right if it has ci capabilities right continuous integration it has or it can support some tools so that whenever you run your test suit your test cases also gets updated about pass fail right and market is changing so keep learning new tools don't take no time outs they can be issue right we try to do a rerun and try to fix those try to avoid that do an analysis and the most important part right uh, leave what is what humans can do good right and uh, rest you can automate and sometimes automation is considered as you press a button and you get the results right uh, it's not that there is an analysis which plays an important role right you are reducing the time but there is much more to it for example how the application is performing it's not it should not be like you have put thread dot sleep for a uh, two minutes right and still application will work right but the performance is not good right you have the good configuration keep on checking your test data your scripts even require maintenance do that and this is an important uh, interview question also like your scripts were working yesterday and now it's not working so what could be the issue so most probably we say that script or there is a new build that came and which broken the and now the app is not working but categorize those issues so that on the long run you know that where the problems are coming is it just the sync issues that are coming or the test data we are passing or the kind of input data we are giving to it right so that way you can classify uh, the problems and you can make your automation better and do a result analysis right as we discussed earlier also it's not that you just run it three times and everything works right so there must be some problem anywhere why you need to run three times when it can be done in one time and follow these principle that whatever code you are writing it can run on all browsers so this way you have a thinking which uh, by which you are making your automation which can work even in the future because sometimes uh, the frameworks get scrapped out because they are not working with the change i was reading one of the article and they said that most of the frameworks are getting uh, rejected or scrapped after a long time because they are not made uh, to adapt for change right so if you keep these things in mind that will definitely help you and continuous testing is the same what we discuss uh, the starting as well right what whenever your deployment is coming uh, suit is running there can be nightly builds right and you should maintain your scripts and you should learn these tools like sometimes when you see for the first time you will think that okay what is this a new technology a new tool but believe me that some of them are very very simple uh, they are not as difficult compared to other tools so you can learn any one of them get good at them and then you can move to the next one and see and don't store don't hard code anything uh, store in the property file json file or maybe if some things are we have before method after method all that stuff right those are basic things we should keep in mind right while doing automation always create a reusable framework follow the dry principle don't repeat yourself uh, have some custom reports helper function right so so that the same thing can be reused at multiple places right and uh, software development skills is an intersection of code testing skill and test automation skills right to be perfect in that you should have the knowledge of, knowledge of both of them so that you can make the best out of it so these are the tips i have covered many of them and there are many pending next time we'll see that if we can cover advanced level tips or something else this is my channel you can just press the subscribe button and the bell icon to support this and do add the tips if you have if you have any corrections also feel free to add that i'm not perfect so i'm sharing based on my experience and the learnings i have so thank you for watching